Hey guys, so I finally finished this humongous set. It took me about eight hours to complete, and yeah guys, let's get right into the review. Here's our first minifigure. Uh, there are two different kinds of Jawas, but this is the first one. As you can see, it has this little uh, electric gun right here, and some printing on the torso, and his the back. Um, He's got just a plain old black head with these two yellow dots and a little hood. Here's the second type of Jawa. He's pretty much the same as the first except he's got a little more different torso printing and back printing and just a different blaster. Uh, he's got the same head and hood and that's it for him. Here is the R1 series droid. Um, it's got this little hinge on the top, uh, some really cool printing around the the head, I guess you could call it. Um, uh, and that's pretty much it with this one. All right, guys, here's the next minifigure. It's called R2 Unit. It's just a plain old R2 unit, except it has some green and a little bit of blue on it and yeah that's pretty much it with this minifigure here is our next minifigure it is the d i forgot the name gosh dang it r5d4 maxwell r5d4 here's our next minifigure it is r5d4 uh as you can see, there's some red printing and a little bit of blue speckled throughout the main part of the droid. Uh, he's got cool eye printing and just head printing. And that's it for this minifigure. Here is the gonk droid. I really like this build. Uh, it looks exactly like it did in the movie. So, yeah, and I've always just really loved gonk droids. And this is my first one that I have. So, yeah, I really like it. And here is the next minifigure. This one is Uncle Owen. Uh, he has a really nice face print um, and some cool leg prints and body print. And there's also a back print right here. Uh, he doesn't have a second head, but he, uh, he looks really good overall. Here is the R2-D2 that came with it. It's pretty much the same as all the other R2-D2s that are in other sets. And here is the C-3PO. Uh, he's also pretty much the same as the other ones. He's got uh, cool uh, torso prints. He has some back prints and some cool leg prints right here. And finally, here is Luke Skywalker. Uh, he has his normal farm boy, uh, you know, torso and legs. He has this cool hair, hair uh, mold that he usually uses. And this face, he doesn't, ha he does have a back uh, print, or double-sided head, sorry. Um, as you can see, he's got his lightsaber. Right now it's not turned on, but he does have his blade. And yeah, that's it for the minifigures. Let's get to the set review. And here are our final two minifigures. This one doesn't really have a name. It actually is built from six of these little containers that are shoved into each one of these. There are three on each side. Um, he's definitely the worst of all the minifigures, but then again, uh, Lego only had six pieces that they could design them with, so... I guess they did pretty well for him. And here is the last minifigure. It is the Dreadwheel Droid. Uh, yeah, he is, he's got four arms that spin around in a circle like this and a little head that pops out in the middle of it. And then what looks to be uh, some treads that can move it along the ground. And I think that's going to do it for the minifigure review. So let's get into the actual set. 
All right, guys, so let's get into the set review. So, as you can see, uh, they did a really nice job in sealing all the cracks. Of course, there are, like, little cracks that you can sort of maneuver the set and fill up a little. But overall, they did a really nice job in uh, making it look as real as possible. So, let's start up here with the cockpit. As you can see, there is just a little cockpit right there uh, with the, some control panels and all that that you would need in a cockpit. Um, below it, right here, is the main entrance that can be opened by this little screw right here. So as you turn it, it opens it very slowly, like that. Uh, which is a really good design. I really like how they added these super long chains right here so it looked like it did in the movie. Now, down here is the main entrance, as you can see right there. And there's also this little crane right here that you can lower and raise and slide in and out from the sand crawler. Um, there's also different um, things that you can attach to it in the back, such as this little magnet thing right here. Uh, there are three accessories, which I'll show later. This is just one of them. But this little hole right here can go through this hook that's on here. So it makes it seem like it's like magneting the droids or whatever. And then you can carry it up and move it back through the ship or whatever you'd like to do with it. Uh, there's also this little speeder right here. That uh, one little Jawa could uh, drive like this and there's a little stud back here so if you want to put a droid or something on there you can easily clip him on or if you want to put one of these boxes right here you could put whatever you want in there droid whatever uh, you can also just uh, put it on like that okay now let's go to the side. You can lift up all of these uh, little side panels, except for this. This one you can just push in like that. Um, and as you can see, there's it's kind of hard to see, but there is a few slots in there for those buckets that I showed earlier, this kind of bucket. And uh, there's also this very cool turning mechanism that you turn this wheel right here, which moves these things and then it moves the, the treads on the bottom. Um, as you can see right here on the bottom, here let me just raise this up. Uh, on the bottom, let me flip it on its side real quick. There are four treads, they're each pretty much too thick. Uh, these ones turn because of this mechanism right here. And then there's this super cool uh, little uh, ladder type thing that just makes it look so much better and these treads uh, they actually really work it it makes it seem exactly like in the movie you can see it moves like that uh, these treads can also move up and down like this you can kind of see it see it goes like that sorry and like this so it can go over more bumpy terrain like it does in the movie. Um, yeah, and the top also comes off. As you can see right here, just pull that whole section off right here. And this little section comes off. And now you can, you have a whole top view. Uh, it also has this really neat little crane right here, uh, which can uh, move things around from within the sand crawler and it can even extend so much that it can reach over the side of the sand crawler. Uh, there are uh, four, sorry, three different uh, types of hooks that you can put on. There's this one right here that I think was supposed to be meant to lift one of these up and you can of course hook all of these onto that hook right there or the one in the front. There's this one that I already showed you, this magnet type thing that you can also hook onto it. And there's this little claw right here. 
very cool. Uh, it can it works pretty well. Uh, some of them don't work as well as others. Like this one doesn't work too well. But this one you can just literally stick it onto the top of a droid, like so, and then it just hooks onto here. But yeah, and then down in here you can see that little ladder right there. So then the Jawas or Luke Skywalker can just climb up the edge right here and into the sand crawler. Uh, there are these uh, little compartments right here that hold here that hold uh, these little buckets that build this thing right here that I talked about earlier. Uh, each one of the little pieces goes into one of the buckets and uh, fully creates him so you can just take it out and build him up or put him away uh, this is a very cool thing that I really liked uh, you can grab one of these buckets and just push it through here and usually it would land straight into that little center compartment that you can kind of see right there right, right there here let me do it again so you can see it go through the side. It goes through there, and usually it'll land face up, but that time it got hit by something. Um, yeah, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this review. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and we are going to use this set in a new mock that we're doing, so make sure to check that out whenever it comes out. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.